A colourful cross-section of a California burger. The last thing to touch the lips of notorious mafia kingpin Charles Lucky Luciano. Now let's recreate it. Hello and welcome to The Last Supper, where this week we're shifting our attention to the last meal of Charles Lucky Luciano, one of the most well-known gangsters of the 20th century and often considered the father of organised crime, not just in New York, but across America. Luciano was discussing the probability of bringing a film out about his life with an American producer in Naples International Airport over a lunch of a California burger before suffering a heart attack a few minutes after the meeting outside the airport and dying at the age of 64 in 1962. Today we're going to recreate that last meal that Lucky had on this planet and hopefully rustle something up which is up to the standards of a mafia king. So first we want to melt a touch of butter in a pan and when it starts bubbling slightly like so we want to add our bun and toast until they are golden brown. This will prevent any sogginess of the bread and also add great flavour and crunch with each bite. Once toasted we then want to place to one side and start to season our beef with salt and freshly ground black pepper. I'm using 15% fat steak mint as is traditional with California burgers but you can use most ground beef for this recipe. Once the seasoning is fully incorporated and running through the meat we then want to shape the meat into 2 inch patties like so. We can then put the same pan we toasted the buns in onto the heat and once ripping hot, add a few tablespoons of oil to the pan and lay the patties away from you. Cook for around 3 minutes on each side before turning the heat down and placing a couple slices of cheese on top before using a large dinner plate like this to cover the pan. This helps steam the cheese underneath the cover of the plate and allows it to melt completely on top of the patty. After around 2 minutes the cheese should be melted and then we want to remove the burgers and let rest for around 5 minutes. This will ensure that all the juices which have collected on the surface during cooking will soak back into the meat and redistribute throughout the patty, making for an incredibly juicy burger. Whilst the burger's resting, we can then prep the rest of the toppings for the burgers. Being a California burger, you can expect it to be a colourful one, so first off we're going to slice a large red onion into rings like so, making sure to not slice from the root end. If we slice the root off, the onion will start to bleed and even if we use a sharp knife, we will start to cry. You probably won't use the whole onion if you're just making a few burgers as well, so not chopping the root off will also make sure the onion stays fresh for longer. We then want to slice a large beef tomato into thick slices like this and then top and tail a couple of pickles before slicing into thin strips also. We then want to remove the outer leaves of a washed iceberg lettuce similar to the one that I have here before picking the next leaf off, cutting off the root, tearing into strips like so and leaving to one side. Finally we want to de-seed and slice an avocado and I've had numerous messages asking to demonstrate how we do this so I'm going to take it a tad slower. First we want to make an incision here in the more narrow end of the avocado until we hit the large seed inside. If your avocado is ripe you should easily be able to run your knife round the fruit using the seed as a guideline and then meeting your original incision. We can then twist one side 90 degrees and pull apart. An easy trick to de-seed the avocado without scooping up any of the flesh with a teaspoon is to just use your knife by swiftly hitting the seed and then twisting and pulling out. This way we get an oddly satisfying de-seeded avocado with no tears in the flesh which we would have got if we used a spoon. However we do want to use a spoon here to remove the flesh, I really hate using the word flesh in these videos given the subject of the channel. We want to run our spoon between the skin and the inside and follow the skin round to the bottom before easing away like so. We can then slice the avocado into wedges and place to one side as we move on to our burger sauce. A really simple burger sauce which goes great with all our toppings is easily concocted by mixing 3 tablespoons of ketchup and 1 tablespoon of Dijon mustard with 2 tablespoons of both sweet pickle relish and mayo before mixing thoroughly to make sure all aspects of the sauce are homogenous. Our burgers need to rest for a few more minutes which gives me the perfect opportunity to inform you of the life and crimes of Charles Lucky Luciano. Probably the most influential and most powerful member of American organised crime in the 1920s and 30s, in 1896 Salvatore Lucy Chania was stereotypically born in Sicily, the birthplace of many Italian-born gangsters who dominated organised crime in the States during the 20th century. He emigrated to New York at the age of nine and didn't wait long to start his life in crime. Within six months he was involved in shoplifting, mugging and extorting. By the age of 20 he served six months for selling heroin and by the age of 24 he was the right hand man to Joe Masseria, the biggest crime boss in New York, later betraying the aforementioned Masseria and having him assassinated. Rising through the ranks and after spearheading the rise of all the young gangsters in New York, nurturing the relationships intelligently, he became the boss of all bosses or the capo di tutti capo in Italian. By 1934 he had established the National Crime Syndicate and the Five Families of New York, agreeing to split territory and end war between the mobsters of the city. 
Many of these families we see portrayed in Hollywood films such as Goodfellas and The Godfather. However, his lavish lifestyle of illegal income wasn't to last as he was indicted on prostitution charges by the much feared special prosecutor Thomas E. Dewey in 1936. From his luxurious cell in Clinton Prison, New York, he still continued to rule and issue orders to the underworld of the city and eventually struck a deal with the United States to be deported back to his native Italy in exchange for Luciano to flex his influence on the Longshoremen's Union to tighten waterfront security at the New York Harbor during World War II. From Naples, he continued to direct the drug traffic into the USA, a country who were relieved to hear he died in 1962, moments after he ate what we're cooking on this week's show. Which brings me back to the California burger. Our patties have rested and we're now ready to assemble by first taking the bottom half of our bun and using the back of a spoon to spread some of our burger sauce on there like so. Next we want to add our lettuce leaves, a few slices of our tomato followed by our rested patty, avocado, pickles, our sliced red onion rings and finally the lid of our burger which has also been smeared with our sauce. And there we have it, the last meal of notorious kingpin Lucky Luciano, one of the most feared and most powerful gangsters in American history and that is the last thing he tasted before succumbing to the inevitable. A kind of bleak ending however if you did enjoy the video please do like and subscribe and let me know in the comments whose last supper you'd like me to do next. As always thanks a lot for watching and subscribe for more.